Welcome to the Airship Desktop Client Demo. This movie is going to teach you how to download the Airship Desktop Client and get it running so you can try out the Airship Client software easily. You've probably already been to our website at airshippvr.com. Just click on the Demo tab at the top and scroll down to the bottom. This is probably where you find the link to this movie. And click here to download the Airship Client installation package. Just click on save when it comes up and pick a place to save it where you'll be able to find it easily. I'm just going to pick my desktop. And through the magic of movie making, the download is complete. It'll take probably a couple minutes to download it completely for you. Just click on the run button and click on the run button here on the security warning. It just asks you if you make sure you know who the publisher is. It's us. Click on run and the Airship Client Installer will launch. Go ahead and close your browser and minimize it. The installer, just click on next. Click on next to install. Installation takes a very short time. When it's done, you'll notice that launch airship client demo is already checked. Just leave that checked and click on finish. The install will close and the airship client will launch. The initial login is system, S-Y-S-T-E-M, and there's no password. Just leave the password blank and click OK. Once you've logged in, you'll be able to see several things, including this group of cameras up here on the left. Just click where it says Airship Demo in this little triangle. We'll branch down the list of cameras available. Go ahead and pick our inside camera if you want to see who's in the hallway. Oh, this is in the front lobby. Double click to make it go full screen, double click again to go back to normal screen, and feel free to drag another camera out, like our parking lot. Or, how about a DVD? What do we got playing? Oh, the dinosaurs movie still, huh? And we don't have anything hooked up to this one. The no video camera is a good one to pull if you're in a slow bandwidth uh, internet connection, or just to make sure that it works at all, because this one will usually come up pretty quickly, whereas these other ones, because they're full color and have motion, might take a little bit longer to get connected, so it's a good idea to try the no video one first. But here we are, already connected and ready to go. Our videos are at 5 frames per second because of the internet transmission. We wanted to keep that bandwidth small. Over here on the left again, we have the ability to turn off and on the cameras. Just click that little button there. And if you want to record, just click this little target here, and this will start recording locally on your machine. So. Remember to turn this off, because we wouldn't want to fill up your hard drive with a bunch of video. This is the exact same client that you'd use with our servers that you'd purchase directly. And it works exactly the same way, from snapshots. And to see that snapshot, we just click on Tools and Snapshot Viewer. There's that snapshot we just took. Including the complete help guide. Things about first launch, the quick setup guide, how to get connected to a server everything you ever wanted to know about playback, and you can search for anything you want. So, you're connected, you're ready to go. Oh wait, how about playback? Well, yeah, it's a recorder, isn't it? Click on playback and remote playback. This tells you that we're going to close all live views. Just say yes. Playback works the same way as live view. Just drag a camera over, and it starts recording the first recording is available for the current day. I'm going to double click, go to full screen. Down here are these time indicators. This is the minutes of the hour, so we're in the 7 o'clock hour. Just click and drag, and these are the hours of the day. Where you see white is just normal recording with no motion detected. Where it's orange, there's some motion detected. So you get that in there, and most likely you'll see a car drive by, or in this case it looks like lots of trees moving in the wind. Explore every button, try everything you can, and if you have any questions, give us a call at 877-462-4250. We're here to help answer any questions you've got, and if you're having troubles just getting connected, definitely give us a call. We can help troubleshoot internet connection problems or make sure that there's not a firewall in the way. So thanks for downloading the demo, and have a good time.